Hi everyone, we're just going to do a quick reading, whatever the cards want to say. This may or may not be your energy group, so only take it if it resonates. The Phoenix, new phase, renewed transformation, rekindle growth, changed mind, coffin, endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition, love call. Sword and the Rose, Truth, Clarity, Revelation. Let's see. Mask, why mask? Healthy choices. Hammer, sabotaging. Persistent, working on it, girl talk, time with friends, moving on. Lightning, sudden change, breakup, separation, talking, keys on a ring. very interesting I feel like I feel like you're going to get a message from someone I feel like someone's going to call you and they're going to let you know the third party situation has ended clarity truth revelation someone had some type of clarity here it's like they weren't showing their true feelings and I feel like now they're working on it it's like they're making healthier choices sabotaging behaviors Tell me more about this energy. The moon, the king of wands, nine of swords, queen of swords, death, the hermit, the ten of wands, the four of wands. I actually think this is for that energy group where your person is taking accountability. I don't think you see this coming. I feel like this person has actually done soul searching. I feel like they have actually done some work. It's like they're having these shocking epiphanies about themselves, about others. Um, they're realizing like their own self-sabotage and it's like they're wanting to talk to you. They're wanting to stop sabotaging themselves. But let's, I feel like part of it too is because they know that you're moving on. You might be spending time with your friends or you're just happy single. You're living in the moment. You're, you're not really, you're in your power more. You're not as open to dealing with this energy. And I feel like even if you still love them, you're, you're not going to be breadcrumbed. You're not going to go back to how it was before. And I feel like that's part of what's bringing this epiphany in. I feel like this person is actually, um, I feel like they're shutting out some kind of third party or they're ending there might have been someone in between your relationship this could be like a friend or a family member because I just get this energy of like somebody messaging you but they're messaging you to let you know that something that used to be an issue for you guys is not an issue anymore so this was either like a third party that they were with or this could be like a friend or a family member that wanted to cause issues between you two and they're wanting to message you to let you know that that person is no longer a part of their life. I feel like this person is having anxiety behind the scenes. They're not, they're wanting to present themselves as somebody who's very composed, they, you know, they have it together. They're a king of wands, like very charismatic, but behind the scenes, this person is very anxious about you. They're having a lot of anxiety, a lot of sleepless nights, really in their head because they know that you're in this queen of swords energy. 
they know that you found out about something for one thing. But this is a good energy because I, I did just do, um, I did just do a reading for those of you that are dealing with a masculine who's not taking accountability. They're just kind of doing the same shit again and again, and they're going to have bad karma for it. They're, they're kind of just in like a victim mentality. I just did a reading on that about the third party that they were dealing with. And it looks like this is kind of, it's, it's not really an extension of that necessarily. I mean, it might be to a degree, but it's, it's more like, this is that energy group, but it's, it's like for those of you that are dealing with the masculine who actually is doing the work, they actually are taking accountability. Like someone who loves you will not put themselves in a position to lose you. And if they do, they will come after you. They will come. Someone that truly loves you that much is not going to choose their pride and their ego, their fear over you. Somebody that really loves you is, is going to make the effort. And that's what I see here. So this is for if you're in that energy group where your masculine actually is taking accountability, they actually are doing the work, they are stepping up, they are wanting to work on healing, they are, you know, wanting to treat you right, they are wanting to make the effort. I see this masculine is, is just really in their head about you right now. Because they know that you're the queen of swords, they know and this could be two men or two women, or this could be, the roles could be reversed. This could be a woman. This could be a man. Just take it as it resonates. But basically what I'm getting is like this person knows that you're in the queen of swords energy and they know that you're in the queen of swords energy because of things that they've said and done. They're having anxiety. They're having a lot of guilt and they want to go through this transformation. I feel like it's almost like they've just exhausted themselves. They've been so in their head and it's like they're causing themselves this anxiety and for this energy group, I feel like the, these masculines are having these epiphanies. They're like, I did this to myself. I did this to my person. I, I'm i creating, like they're realizing that, they're realizing their role in things here is what I'm, what I'm seeing. Yeah, they want to message you. They want to message you and let you know that they actually do want to go through this transformation, this death and rebirth. With the hermit energy too, the hermit is somebody who's alone, but it's also somebody who can be alone by choice. It's like they're doing the shadow work. They're digging deep. They're, they're disconnecting from people. I feel like people play it. I feel like there's a lot of people that uh, influence this relationship in a negative way, whether it's friends or family. And I feel like this person is going to message you to let you know, like, hey, I let, I let this burden go. I cut this family member out or I cut this friend out or I cut this third party karmic out that I was dealing with like I, I just want it to be me and you I, I don't want other people involved in our connection I don't want other people to separate us I'm, I'm letting go of whatever was holding me back from you I'm letting go of these burdens I feel like they're also saying it, it's a it's a really sexy energy because it's like this masculine's really taking accountability and I think he is not only realizing how other people might have played a role in this connection and kind of tried to separate you two but I think that I think when he was doing some soul searching, it's like he had these epiphanies because he started putting two and two together. He started really thinking about things, um, kind of distancing himself from people, distancing himself from society. And I think another thing he realized is also just how how he did this to himself. How it's like he put this weight on himself, how his own issues, um, his own how do I explain this energy? Because Ten of Wands is like the straw that broke the camel's back. And I'm seeing it as like these epiphanies that he's having when he's in this isolation mode, where it's like he's having these epiphanies where it, it's kind of like these tower moments that are just coming in for him. And it's, it's almost giving him like anxiety, but kind of in like a positive way where it's almost pushing him to come forward, where he's he's like having these realizations and they're, they're causing a lot of guilt, a lot of pain, a lot of, you know, insomnia, anxiety. It's like he's having these recognitions that he blocked himself from this four of swords with, or, sorry, four of wands with you, you know, true love, peace, happiness. He's, he's kind of looking at how, how he sabotaged himself how he was at war with himself, how he kind of fought himself, how he 
um, almost blocked himself from his own happiness in a lot of ways. And even letting other people influence the connection, I mean, it's still him being impressionable and him allowing other people to, allowing their negative opinions to come in, allowing himself, it's like he doubted you. He doubted this love. He doubted this connection. Now it's like he's having these epiphanies and this awareness and really taking responsibility. And it's a really sexy energy if you're in this energy group where it's like he's he's not letting anybody get in the way of this connection anymore. Show me more about this message that he wants to send. Because I just, I feel him wanting to message, but it's like he's wanting to message you to let you know that something that was in the way of your connection is over. And I think it's, I think it's a third party, but I think it's also just wanting to take accountability um, for his role and what went wrong in your connection. Like, it's like he's having these epiphanies and he wants to talk to you about these epiphanies that he's having. It's like he wants to kind of message you and, and say, hey, like, I realize where I went wrong. I realize it, it, it's almost like he's being hit with this sudden empathy for you where it's like out of nowhere, he's he's kind of um, feeling a lot of the it, it's almost like he was very closed off. And now it's like the roles are reversed in a, in a way. And now he's feeling, you know, some of the pain that you were feeling, some of that anxiety that you were feeling in the past, that that loneliness, that longing for him. It's like now he's the one that's that's kind of feeling that energy. And so he's he's being able to see from your perspective more now and having more empathy for you now. Tell me more about this message. Someone asked too, like how you can um someone was talking about that the other day, like how can you tell um which energy group your masculine is in. Uh, if you're if you're waking up and you just I mean, use your intuition, but honestly, like for me, like being psychically in tune, like if I if I were to wake up and like just feel angry at, at someone or just feel upset or just feel distrusting or feel guarded, that kind of shows me like especially if there's a strong telepathic connection that they're probably doing the same shit again and again and again. But if you're waking up and it's almost like you feel like peaceful, like, you know, with the four of wands here, or it's like you just feel um, like proud of them, like you feel almost like like you're wanting to open up to them more, that might be a good sign that they are in this energy group where they are taking accountability, you know, because like with that strong telepathic connection that you two have, you know, if they're treating you like crap and they're pushing you away, it's like, and you're energetically feeling it, you're going to be the queen of swords. You're going to be guarded. You're going to be distrusting. You're not going to be open. You're going to be turned off. But if you're feeling, if you're tuning into their energy and you're actually feeling them wanting to make changes and wanting to apologize and wanting to step up, then it's like energetically, you're going to feel closer to them. You're going to feel, you know, energetically kind of safe with them. Yeah, it's like they're wanting to message and explain things. Tell me more about this message. They were juggling. They were juggling something and they're realizing that was an illusion now. They had multiple options. Tell me about that. That cycle has ended. Yeah, they're going to let you know. I mean, it's up to you if you forgive this person. I want to say, though, like, make sure they are taking accountability. Like, if they're coming, because some of them are coming forward and they're going to be like, oh, like, I... You know, yeah, I had a third party, but it was just all an illusion. Like, I want to end that now. I see that you're, you know, you're the best option for me. But, like, make sure that they are seeing things from your perspective. And they are, um, you know, if you do forgive them, like, just really make sure that they are owning their shit and not just trying to sweep it under the rug. Because they need to own up to what they did. And they, you need confirmation that they're not just going to do that to you again. That they're not going to betray you like that again if you're even going to consider opening up to this person again, you know, but, but they basically want to tell you that they were confused in the past, but they're ending those cycles and they want to build something here. They want to, they don't want it to be them versus you any, anymore. They don't want there to be the mind games anymore. They don't want there to be the distance between you two anymore. They, they want to end old cycles. They want to cut out people that were holding, that were maybe separating them from you. And they want to work together as a team. They want to be the king of pentacles too. They want to be stable. They want commitment with you. They, they Yeah, they want to work together as a team here. Me and you against the world instead of me and you against each other. So 
some of them want to, I'm almost seeing some of them want to study magic is what I'm hearing, or they want to study, um, I'm getting this energy of someone who's more open spiritually, like they, they want, um, how do I explain this energy? It's almost like they want your help spiritually, like they might say, hey, like, how do you do witchcraft? Or how do you, um, tell me more about twin flames or tell me more about soulmates tell me more about energy work like there might be something spiritual that you know a lot about that you're, you're like very knowledgeable about something and they want your advice on that because the hierophant can be like study and like institutions and like traditions and the magician here i also see it as they're wanting to be in their power more why are the three of swords nine of wands the high priestess they know that they broke your heart and it's it's really a beautiful thing though that they're acknowledging that they're not blaming you they're not being hypocritical they're not saying oh well you did this and this and this they're acknowledging that they really hurt you because they've gotten a taste of their own medicine so now they have that kind of empathy where they're like oh shit this is what that feels like and so I think they're acknowledging that it might be a battle a little bit here to gain your trust back because it's like you can't really sweep one over on the high priestess. She knows all, she sees all, even if she doesn't speak on it. But it looks like they're willing to put in the work. They're With this energy that I'm feeling, they're not trying to stop you from being the high priestess. They're accepting that you're the high priestess. And so they're taking accountability, like they're not trying to sweep it under the rug. They're like, damn, okay, I have to, she already knows, so I might as well come clean and apologize and let, let this person know that I want to work with them and I want to do better. Yeah, they want a message. I keep getting, they want, yeah, they want to come forward quickly. Knight of Pentacles, they want to offer, Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving knight, but he's very loyal and stable and grounded. So they want to offer you some kind of loyalty and stability. They know that you're not going to deal with third parties or cheating. And they know that they also can't cheat on you because you'll, you'll pick up on it. You'll dream it. You'll see it. You'll, you'll figure it out. They want victory with you. They want to be loyal with you. I just keep getting like whatever, some of them are spying on your social media too. Because they're trying to figure out how to come forward with this message. They're trying to come, they, they want victory with you. And they're trying to come forward. They're, they're trying to figure out how to communicate with you. They want to come forward and let you know that they have this new perspective, that they are becoming more empathetic, that they are opening up to multiple perspectives. They are growing, they are healing. They're not just going to be stuck in their in their head and their own limited perspective anymore. They're They're willing to meet you halfway and see things from your perspective finally ace of pentacles out of wands king of cups Ooh, okay they i'm almost seeing this as they know that they need to stand their ground with themselves it's almost like they're finally realizing that you're not the enemy, that all these other women or whatever, it's like these other people are not the enemy. They're realizing that they have been their own worst enemy. It's like they have to stand their ground, but they have to stand their ground against them, against this other aspect of themselves, against this part of their mind that sabotages them, against this part of their mind that puts them in these, in these patterns, these toxic patterns, these toxic mentalities. If they want to be the king of cups, emotionally available, um, at peace, you know, emotionally mature. If, if they want you back, they have to be the king of cups and they know that. So that they, they know that they have to do the work and they have to put the effort into not sabotage things anymore. Okay, let's wrap this up. Tell me more about this message before we, before we leave. Yeah, they want to put the work in. What are they walking away from? They're walking away from third parties. What are they walking away from? Three of Cups, third parties. <laughs> it's a really beautiful energy. They know that you're pissed. They know that you they know that they put you through a lot, but I think that with the kind of message they're gonna send you, I think that even though you'll still be a little bit distrusting, you're not you're not completely sure about this person. I think it's almost like the door is closing, but like right before the door is closing, it's almost like you're kind of, 
they've been kind of in and out. And it's almost like you've been closing that door slowly. And you're like, you know what, you're not going to stand here blocking traffic, you get in or you get out. And it's almost like at the last minute, as you're like closing this door, this person like runs in and like forces the door open. It's like, no, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in it. I'm in like, just let me stay in. <laughs> I'm not in it. Like, I'm not going to block it. Like, like, just like the last minute, this person runs back in. And so I think, yeah, I think you are going to be guarded. I think you are going to be a little bit distrusting. You are going to be like, you are going to, you know, stay in that high priestess energy. You are going to observe them. You're, you're going to be a little bit nervous, but I think that with how they're taking accountability and how they're showing up, how they're finally owning their shit, like they're not, I think in this conversation, it's like, you're going to be really impressed. And so even if you are distrusting, I think you're going to be like more open to them. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to be like, you might not just jump right back into it, but I think that, you know, I think you'll be like, okay, well, you know, let's talk. I'll hear you out. Um, you know, I have these boundaries, but you know, like, let's, let's talk. Let's, let's see if we can figure this out together. You know what I mean? Like, I think that this woman will be somewhat open. Um, and again, it's because of this message, because again, in this message, I just feel like this man is really going to have a lot of empathy. And I think that's what's going to, um, really turn this woman on and, and, you know, kind of start opening her, making her open up a little bit to possibly giving this a second chance because she's going to be like, wow, I've never seen this side of him before. Like, wow, I've never, he's never expressed emotion like that before, or I've never, um, like, I've never heard him talk like that before, or I've never, like, he's never acknowledged how much he hurt me before. Or I've never, he's never apologized before. It's like this, this, this message is going to be a very mature message. It's going to be a very well thought out message. Um, I think you're going to be on guard. Like you're going to be looking for signs of manipulation in this message, signs of, you know, any kind of mental manipulation. And I almost think like this person is actually going to be coming forward as a king of cups. So there's not going to be that manipulation in this message. It's actually going to be a very, um, balanced very emotionally mature message where this person is is taking accountability and expressing this desire to work together why the six of pentacles yeah they understand if they breadcrumb you you're gonna be you're you're gonna be guarded and you're gonna wrap that cycle up and you're gonna go be the queen of cups for somebody else yeah they they know they're understanding that if they want you to be the queen of cups, they have to give you a reason to be the king of Cu uh, the queen of cups. They have to give you a safe space to be the queen of cups. They want this side of you back. They want this, they're, they're, um, they're understanding that if they're the king of cups, she'll match them as the queen of cups, but only if they're the king of cups too. They're also worried that someone else is going to get this side of you because they're thinking about this, this, this nurturing, loving, emotional, warm side. They're wanting that back. They're wanting that side of you back. They're wanting, you know, you guys want that justice together. Okay, let's wrap it up. Um, let's wrap it up. What, what is, uh, yeah, balance. You guys are going to be compromising together to have this Ten of Cups, to have this true love, like this solid foundation together. Temperance is about balance, so it's like you guys are going to be made, making making these compromises where you're going to speak your truth, they're going to speak their truth in this conversation. They're going to acknowledge the um, the past traumas and behaviors that made them hold back, that made them afraid to commit or afraid to give. They're not going to... Um, they're going to talk to you about it, but not in a way where they're making excuses. I, I feel like, I feel like there is some kind of like, there's some, someone that came in between you two, but I feel like they're going to express it, but in a way that's not, um, like they're going to take responsibility. They're going to be like, yeah, I shouldn't have let this person come in between us. I'm sorry. And they're going to be looking at these traumas and healing them. This emotion, this, yeah, because they want to become the emperor. They want to do the healing work so they can be a real man. So they can be the emperor. Emperor is like ultimate daddy energy. It's, yeah, the sun. They're having a lot of epiphanies, a lot of clarity. And this absence was almost like necessary for them to finally have this kind of clarity. They needed to be on their own for a little bit so that they could go inward and do the soul searching and, and have, have this clarity. 
Okay, let's wrap up. Anything else about this message that you want to say really quick? Yeah, they're tired of waiting. They're tired of waiting for their ships to sail and they want a new start. They're making judgment calls. Yeah, whoever this was that, that kept you two apart, possibly a Queen of Pentacles, they're making a judgment call. Could have been someone that was doing dark magic, but whoever it was, they're making a judgment and they're choosing to let this person go. They're choosing to deal with the fallout, with the drama. This could be a family member or friend that wants to control them too and manipulate them. And they're like, you know what, let the chips fall where they may. I'm not letting you come in between me and my person. They're making a judgment call to end it with whoever this person is. So it's it's really a good energy to see. Um, like I said, this message, I feel like it's very emotionally mature. Like, I feel like they're going to be expressing emotions to you in, like, a balanced way. Um, very, like, like, a let's talk kind of message. Like, I want to do better. They might even tell you things about, you know, you that, that upset them, but they're going to be t expressing it in a really good way. Like, hey, like, I, um, you know, I, I know how much I hurt you. I know how much I upset you. Let's let's talk about that. And there are certain things that you did in the past too that hurt that hurt me or upset me. Like, let's talk about that. Let's let's make compromises. Let's get on the same page and work together as a team. And I really feel like with these epiphanies, it's like this masculine is going to become the emperor. Like he actually is doing the work to become um, you know, a, a true divine masculine. It's it's a really good energy to see. So I hope this resonates with you guys.